The power of a gaming PC in the palm of my hand, but the storage capacity of an iPhone 10. If you have ever chafed at the storage limitations of your Steam Deck, this one's for you. Hey everyone, I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and today we're looking at the process of installing a replacement SSD in a Steam Deck. The basic Steam Deck has a capacity of 256 gigabytes, but contemporary games like Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 require 100 gigabytes of storage. That's almost 40% of a basic Steam Deck's capacity. Luckily, Valve's handheld gaming platform is more customizable than the average handheld gaming device, but you still need to know what you're doing. That's where we come in. It is worth pointing out before we start, the standard issue SSD for the Steam Deck is an NVMe PCIe 3x4. Newer generation drives will work, but only run at the Steam Deck's supported 3x4 speeds. Before opening your Steam Deck for upgrades or repairs, it's recommended to back up your data to avoid losing games, saves, or settings. Steam may not back up non-Steam games, emulators, or custom files. Manually copy important data to a micro SD card, external drive, cloud storage, or use cloning software for a full backup. Make sure your backup is complete and accessible before making any hardware changes. Also, follow standard safety procedures for electrostatic discharge. Before starting, consider not only discharging the battery down to under 25% capacity, but going into the Steam Deck's BIOS to put it in battery storage mode. Power down the Steam Deck, unplug all the cables, and remove any micro SD cards currently inserted. Make sure the drive you're installing is a single-sided M.2 2230. It is? Great, let's get started. You'll be using a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the back cover screws. Keep them separate. The central screws have shorter threads than the outside screws. Once they're removed, you can unclip the back cover. You may need an opening pick. Start at the top or bottom edges and it should lift away easily. Depending on the model of Steam Deck you own, the next part may vary. The basic model has a metal motherboard shield with a piece of foil tape covering a hidden screw. Try not to rip the tape, use tweezers if you can so you can reuse them later. OLED Steam Decks don't have this third screw and have a black plastic cover instead. Unscrew the motherboard shield screws, keeping the screws of different thread lengths separate again, and carefully remove the motherboard shield. With the motherboard exposed, disconnect the battery by sliding its cord by the pull tab and pulling directly away from the motherboard. Now you can remove the SSD screw securing the SSD. The SSD will pop up a little, grip it by its end and pull it out from its M.2 board connector to remove it. It has ESD shielding, which the replacement drive will also need. Slide it off carefully, again, you may want tweezers for this, and apply it to the replacement SSD. Make sure it's a snug fit or it won't install properly. Fully insert the new drive into the SSD slot, gently press it down into place, and screw in the correct screw. Putting the Steam Deck back together is what we just did in reverse. Gently insert the battery cord tab to reattach the battery, put the motherboard shield back with the tabs in place, screw it back in using the correct screws, and if it's there, flatten out the foil tape over the third screw. Reattach the Steam Deck's back plate, which should snap into place ready for screws. Remember, short ones on the inside, longer ones around the perimeter. The difficult part is done, and now you just need to install SteamOS on your replacement drive. You'll need another computer besides your Steam Deck, a flash drive with at least 8 gigabytes capacity, and a USB-A to USB-C converter. On your computer, download the Steam Deck OS from Valve's official website. Next. Download a bootable USB writing tool, such as Rufus for Windows, to create the bootable USB. Then, use the tool to write the OS image to your USB flash drive. Once complete, plug the flash drive into your Steam Deck. Start your Steam Deck holding the lower volume button and the power button. You should hear a chime, and if the boot drive is working, you can choose to boot. This part usually takes a while. You should be prepared to wait as much as a half an hour. Any longer and you might want to reboot to Boot Manager and try again. A desktop OS should eventually load, giving you four options. Select Reimage Steam Deck and you'll install the Steam OS on the new SSD. This will also take a while. When it's completed, turn your Steam Deck on and off again, and when it eventually boots, it will automatically load into Steam. Your work is done. Now all you need to do is re-download and install your favorite games. What are you playing on your Steam Deck? Did you upgrade its storage capacity yourself? Let us know in the comments. Thanks everyone for watching and I will see you next time with more DIY in 5.